We are celebrating International World Disability Day. Uh, the team being transformative solution for uh, inclusive development. And also, I've, uh, I've, able, I've been able to learn uh, some of the issues that, and also challenges that are facing persons with disability, more so when it comes to sexual education. And I've come to learn that there is there's a big need that organizations like hospital and also uh, education ministry need to impact on as far as uh, sexual education sexual education is concerned as person with disability. Uh, people are, are, are getting to understand us like we have seen I'm a person in albinism but they still need for sensitization in the society for people to understand that also person with albinism are also human being uh, as any other person and uh, I feel like that's why that's what as uh, that's what we are doing as uh, Black Albinism. We are creating awareness through uh, games and also music. Uh, so I believe in the coming like five years, people will embrace us and treat us as other people, uh, other able, uh, other human beings. Because uh, albinism is just the issue of lack of melanin in skin and also in our hands. My final remarks, as we mark the International Disability Day, I would like to, uh, to, to call upon organizations and also other ministries to ensure that they in include persons with disabilities. As far as, for instance, let me say I'm a journalist, uh, they should give me that, that, that role to play in that organization. Not that they employ me and they give me uh, a role to play like, as a reception news. If they employ me as a journalist, let me do that job as a journalist and not a receptionist. And that's all.